making it to the front page of the news today. Good evening, welcome to Simpson at 7. Fiji witnessed one of the biggest brand relaunch in its history when the ANZ Bank launched its new global brand on 27 October. The launch in Fiji was in fact the biggest launch in the South Pacific region and locals featured prominently in the organization of the brand relaunch, not just here but throughout the Pacific. If you walk past the center of Sulu today, you would have seen the huge banner signifying ANZ's new look and presence. Simpson at 7 went behind the scenes of the brand launch to see how local company Science Plus contributed to the event, as well as the role played some very capable and talented locals in partnership with their overseas counterparts. <laughs> Yeah, we just roll it, get the boys up, roll it all up, just make sure it's all straight, and then tie it up and throw it on the truck. And I think we're going to be the biggest launch globally. Well, the first process of uh, our installation is to check in freight that the banner is in good working condition, um, check the prints to see that the colours are, you know, are what the designers have designed for the banner. That's why we had invited ANZ down to proof, visually proof the banner, and then confirm the sizes. Because the first stage is to check that there's no rips in the banner, because it's a very large banner. And then um, just checking all the little bits that is going to be attached to the wall, and then also prepping the banner by rolling it up and um, getting it ready for transportation to the site. <laughs> And go like last time, everybody in the same, not too fast, too small. Now wait. The main thing though is to transport it from the hockey field up to there. Fortunately in Fiji it's abundance of uh, manual labour. We physically snaked it up the stairwell to the roof. And then set up our ropes and everything to abseil down because uh, uh, we've chosen to install that banner by rope access, which is um, part of something that we do in Sydney. All the missing ones. We've put a snap hook on each one, except for the ones where the ropes are. So wherever we've got, put a snap hook on it, we're ready to park it there. And um, pretty much lowering it down with the coordinating with the guys on the roof and attaching it with uh, stainless steel snap hooks to the cable. It's always scary working at heights. I've been doing it for 20 years, and the first instance that you get off and you're waiting for your ropes to take your weight, there's always that moment of, uh, you know, is it going to all work? You, I don't think you'll ever lose that. Just your humanity just wants to protect yourself.
The main thing to, in Sydney, it would be just down and drop the banner, but uh, we were briefed by NZ that they wanted to do a, a launch and have it revealed like a Roman blind effect. So we were pretty much setting it up and putting it in place so that on the Tuesday to follow, we would just uh, go like clockwork. We slide the banner on the first rails, eh? and lock it and leave it there for now. So come Tuesday, we'll just unveil it. us doing it on site today, we're going to do it here, so when we go on site we'll just split up to our groups and then um, we'll get everyone to sign it here, because when we go there we just want to make sure everyone knows what they're do, know, doing today already and we'll take it from there. We started Science Plus in 2002, uh, we got a crew of uh, 26 staff, um, which is like about 18 of them is the production crew and the other rest is the admin. And sales. All right, with the radios today, we'll have four radios. One will be with, with me on the ropes, one will be with Charlene on the ground, one will be on the roof, and one will be on the awning, eh? Yeah. On the awning. Science Plus basically covers the entire Pacific. Uh, we're based here in Fiji as well as we got a branch out in Samoa. And uh, between the two countries, we managed to service the whole Pacific, including PNG, Solomons. Tonga and Vanuatu as well. The first thing we're going to do today when we go to site is we'll have a couple of guys running the ropes. So whoever's been running the ropes, probably Wade and Penny, the last few days and yourself, run the ropes, set them up. The other guys, your job is to go down to the awning. Two guys go down to the awning and make sure nobody's on the awning. It's clear of anyone that's going to be working there. And then two more guys on the ground, eh? Have you got two guys on the ground or one yeah. guy on the ground? Uh, I'll be on the ground and we've got one more. Yeah. Well, Science Plus basically is a signage company and um, we do all sorts of signage in terms of um, shops, branding, whether it's bank or billboards, any sorts of signage ways you can, that's what Science Plus is doing. The four of us will have sell down. We'll start undoing all the black straps that are holding the banner at the moment and we'll attach the new white ropes to the ropes for lowering down the banner. So we'll have four ropes attached to it, and then the guys on the roof will be holding the ropes and pretty much holding the banner in position. Uh, we won't try and do that too early. We're probably looking at doing that around about 6 o'clock. So about 5, 5.30, we'll start taking all the straps off, depending on the weather. Building reps so far, we have done the biggest in Fiji. We did ANZ first in Fiji. It was the ANZ Bank. After that we did telecom and then now this time around we're back in changing a, a ENZ again with a new one. You can say that it's the biggest in the South Pacific, uh, both ANZ and telecom is the biggest building reps. People on the ground, like Joe was saying, make sure that everyone stays back. We don't really want anyone sort of standing around underneath that roof area where they're watching or, or anything like that. There's, there's designated spots for everyone to do that, there's plenty of room further away. Uh, for everyone to be standing around watching, so um, just be conscious of anyone coming close or anything like that. Um, like Joe was saying, if we if we do drop anything, um, falling from that sort of height does pick up a lot more force, so it's going to hurt and hit someone.